Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post every single Wednesday chatting with you over all of the new makeup releases. I do have a couple items to show that I did receive that I would have talked about this week, so I'm gonna start off with those. But other than that, I'm just gonna chat about all the new makeup releases that were announced over this past week. I do always link my playlist down below and the community playlist will be linked down there, but if you enjoyed these style of videos, you like hearing about the new makeup releases every single week, I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up or if you left a comment or of course subscribed if you haven't yet but let's go ahead and get started I did also want to say that I did film this look for my Instagram that is a March Beauty Word so this look will be going up over there I do a lot of my makeup looks and demos and tutorials over on my Instagram if you are not following that yet but like I said I have a couple items to show that I received in PR and one is what I'm wearing on my eyes and face and that is that I did get the ColourPop taupe collection sent over I say this like every week, ColourPop and I are on different schedules because they tend to announce their new releases on either Tuesday or Wednesday. I film for these videos on Monday, but by the time they go up on Wednesday, there's a new collection announced and people are like, but wait, what do you think about that one? So uh, when I do my hauls in these videos, I'm only showing the products that I would have talked about in this video anyways. It's just I can now show them up to share with you. So if you're thinking that I should have talked about this last week, ColourPop and I are just on different schedules. So I did use the That's Taupe palette on my eye. I did use a highlighter from the collection, which is very, very blingy, very blingy, let me tell you. And then my lip combo I have on the Cool BFF liner and then also the Queen Cobra lipstick. Okay, so my thoughts on this collection and if I would have purchased it or not myself. This palette definitely, or this whole collection definitely gave me a double take. One thing that I was really interested in though, in this collection, which might sound odd, but if you know me, you know that this might have got me excited. I really like the ColourPop lippy pencils. I really like their lippy pencils a lot. I, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the lip products from ColourPop, but the lippy pencils are the one thing that I think are really good and they're also really affordable. So this had me excited because not every time that they come out with a collection do they include lippy pencils. So when I saw that, I was like, very cool. So again, I just used Cool BFF today. It was definitely a lot more cool toned than I th I was thinking it was going to be and it was also a lot lighter. I had seen some photos of it and I thought it would be quite a bit Quite a bit deeper but it really wasn't but i like it i like it a lot so i'll be excited to try the other one from the collection too their glosses again not always my favorite but i do love just like a good shiny gloss and this one was so beautiful in the queen cobra um uh, yeah i put this on and i was really feeling it it just has a lot of sparkle to it even the highlight like i felt like it was a little bit more glittery but at the same time it was really pretty. I don't know if it'll turn into a favorite of mine. I'll have to try it out more. This is my first time trying the collection today, but I did think it was pretty. Um, and then for the eyeshadow palette, I was kind of feeling a little bit torn on this one because I do really like the ColourPop eyeshadows, but this one I was like, okay, I just purchased the Natasha Denona Glam palette. Is it going to be too similar to that one? And I do, I don't have a ton of cool tone palettes in my collection, but I do have a few. And then I also was thinking maybe like it's really similar to the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop, which is one of my favorites from the collection. So I was a little bit like unsure. I was kind of thinking if I did purchase it, you know, maybe I could do some comparisons on it. Um, but if you guys would want to see a video on it, I mean, again, I I got it a little bit later. My videos were pretty much already planned for the next while and filmed and edited and then I was gone over the weekend so I couldn't really make a change to it. But if there's something that you'd want to see or if you just want to see like some swatch photos, if that would be helpful to you. I mean, just let me know if there's anything that you want from this collection. But the things that interested me the most were the lippy pencils. I do like the Super Shock highlighters. So those kind of turned my attention and then the palette I was trying to make a decision about. And then there is also the Snake Eyes. This is a super shock duo the super shocks don't always like blow me away by any means but kush is in here and i feel like kush was a really i feel like jacqueline hill mentioned that once and everyone like loved that one so much but again the super shocks are kind of like hit or miss and then there is a uh, glow oil from soul body in here too um, that came with the collection i really like i just like the patching on everything is really fun even just some of the shade names in the that tote that's taupe palette this was one that's you know the hocus pocus collection intrigued me because it was hocus pocus but 
um, like the coral collections that they came out recently didn't do too much for me. I feel like one of the last times I was excited for just like a regular ColourPop launch was the Wildflower collection, which in terms of ColourPop feels like ages ago, but really it wasn't like that long ago. But that's kind of what I am thinking on the collection. Again, you can head to my Instagram if you want to see how I got this look. But I'd love to know if you guys did grab anything from the collection and what you would want to see content-wise for me, if anything, on it. And next up, the other product that I did receive is not makeup, but it's nail polish. And I thought that I would show you. This is from Lights Lacquer. So this is Kathleen Light's nail polish brand. This collection is absolutely adorable when i received like this trunk style like it came with a key and everything the note was very in, like it was almost just like more of an old-fashioned looking note and it was like sealed with like the candle wax and everything like the detail that was put into this was so awesome and then inside you have all of the different nail polishes in here okay this collection was super beautiful but the first polish that jumped out at me was this one right here and this is in Mia. I immediately painted my toes with this. I won't show you my toes because I feel like that would make a lot of people upset but this I was like gotta have it right away. I painted my toes with it immediately and it's a beautiful color. I really do like the Lights Lacquer nail polishes. I wear them pretty much just solely on my toes like that's all I wear um, when I'm giving myself a good old pedicure. Um, for my fingernails I have gone back to doing the dip powder when all the salons were shut down and I was painting my nails myself, I was just kind of dabbling in a little bit of anything and everything that I could do. So I was using my Lights Lacquer polishes then, but I have gone back to the dip powders. If Lights Lacquer ever made dip powders, I would be super stoked about that. But every once in a while, I will bring in a color and ask the nail tech to do it in that color and then just do like the clear powder over it to help my nails like stay strong. Because, and, and this, this shade will always have Paris, this beautiful sparkly shade. Like it kind of reminds me of the lip gloss that I put on and I'm like, really want this one on my nails. So that one was super beautiful. And you do have the four other shades, but those were the two that definitely called out to me the most. And again, I had to put Mia on my toes right away. So thank you to Kathleen and the Lights Lacquer team for sending this over. But I wanted to mention that because this did just release, so I would have mentioned it anyways. I thought I could show you some of those different polishes and I'll have these linked down below. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over so I can add in some photos. I'm gonna start off by reading from Trend Mood One. So I do always link out the Instagram accounts that I am reading from. And let's just start with holiday because more and more holiday just keeps coming out. And I got, I've been getting a lot of tags, a lot of DMs, a lot of people sending me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury holiday releases because there is a lot coming out from that brand. But there's a few things that excite me um, and a few things that I really want to mention. So from Charlotte Tilbury, a few of her holiday releases. I have this like large photo up here on the screen, but we have the Palette of Pops Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in Dazzling Diamond, that's $53. The Super Nudes Easy Eyeshadow Palette for $57. There's a mini brush set and bag for $65. The Walk of No Shame Lipstick and Liner set for $34. The Pillow Talk Eye Secret sets for $29. There's an Instant Look in a Palette Stoned Rose for $75. The Mini Pillow Talk Lip Set for $45. The Pillow Talk Dreams Come True at $375. So some of those do kind of pop out at me, like the Mini Pillow Talk Lip Set. I really do like the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Products, so if you can do a mini and try out a few of the different products, I think that's really cool. She is also going to have the Bejeweled Beauty Chest Advent Calendar, and this one is $200. So you get to try a variety of different Charlotte Tilbury products, from the makeup products to the skincare products. Honestly, I don't love Charlotte Tilbury skincare as much as I love her makeup, so I would love to see like just a makeup one. But you know, to be able to dabble in the skincare, that's cool too. And then also the Mini Film Star Bronze and Glow Contour Duo for $29. This is the one that I got really excited about and the one that I definitely wanted to mention because I do love my Film Star Bronze and Glow. I did receive it in PR. It was one of those products that I wanted for the longest time, but I just was like, that's so expensive. You know, maybe one day I always had it on my wish list, always had it on my wish list. And when I received it, I was like, Mm, I enjoy it so much. The contour side out of there is just like such a soft, smooth, buttery product. It's so easy to apply. Even the highlight, it's a I would say it's a little bit more subtle than what I tend to prefer, but I can build it up and it just looks so beautiful. It's one of those face duos that I reach for so often. So to see a mini, like if I didn't have that yet, 
1000% I would be purchasing this mini because I would have lost my mind. I would have been so excited. Definitely have a ton of options from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, and then some more new sets at Sephora. We have the Tower 28 Mini Juicy All the Way Lip Jelly Set for $20. There's four of their mini best-selling Shine On Lip Jellies. I do have the... I have no I think I have two of these I have the clear one and then I also have more of the orangey one so not something that I would be purchasing myself but again I, I love minis I love sets this is like one of my favorite times of the year because of that not only just because you know there's things that catch my attention I'm interested in but I just I, I get excited for other people too I'm like yeah you should buy that set that's some minis that's some good like I get excited for that <laughs> from herbivore they have their cloud nine five piece favorites collection for $54 it comes with their cleanser their prism 12% AHA 3% BHA exfoliating glow serum the blue the blue tansy mask their oil and the cocoa rose body polish Looks like they have another trio also for 42 with the exfoliating body scrub and exfoliating body polish and then the prism glow facial I think that I feel like I need there the only thing that i have from herbivore i believe is their cbd oil and i don't i don't use it enough to really be able to give you a firm thought on that and then from youth to the people we have the power of three holiday kit for 44 we have their superfood cleanser which this is a full size the deep moisture cream and the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask so I have tried their superfood cleanser. I had a mini. I did use it all the way up, but I didn't really like fall in love with it, but I know a lot of people really do enjoy it. And I do have that mask. Actually, I have a mini of that mask. Uh, from Farsali, we have the skin skin, the skin skin, the skin skin, the skin savior set for 25 with their unicorn essence, the liquid powder and the skin tune blur. I purchased a Farsali mini set during last holiday time and it was fun. It was nice to be able to try out the different products, but I don't think that I would need this one. From Tatcha, we have their Balanced Skin Duo for 25 with the Deep Cleanse Exfoliating Cleanser and the Water Cream. The water cream isn't a favorite of mine, so it wouldn't be a good fit for me, but Sounds like a nice set there. From Ilia, we have the I Heart Clean Holiday Set for 45. We have their Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint in Fresco, the Black Mascara, and a Black Liquid Liner. I do like quite a few products from Ilia Beauty. Um, they're a brand that I feel like is a little bit underrated, but they have some really good products. I'm wearing their mascara today. Uh, from Cora, we have the Duo Glow On The Go Kit for 34 with their Turmeric BHA Brightening Treatment Mask and the Nani Glow Face Oil. I'm actually not familiar with that brand. Hope to let me know if you've tried anything from them, but bunch of skin a bunch of skincare sets available at Sephora also. And for Sephora, I did see this update on Hot Fire Makeup on Instagram. The Sephora sale is coming up. So their Sephora holiday savings event is beginning a Friday, October 30th for Rouge, who get early access to shop the sale before anyone else. Then on November 3rd, VIB get 15% off. And on November 5th, Beauty Insider gets 10% off and the sale ends on November 9th. So that is what I see. If you want a video, you know, a lot of times I do a, a dedicated video to products that I would recommend or products that I'm interested in trying. If you'd want to see that, definitely let me know. But the holiday savings event first kicks off October 30th. I feel like that is right around the corner. All right, available not at Sephora. We do have some new releases from Rare Beauty. So we had seen a few sneak peeks. We thought maybe something was coming for the eyes. And we have, uh, this is going to be their holiday collection by Rare Beauty with new products and sets. So we have the Magnetic Spirit a magnetic spirit eyeshadow palette and also the confident energy eyeshadow palette for 25 best of rare beauty lip and cheek four piece mini set for 28 which has a matte lip cream a lip balm and two liquid blushes so have the lip and cheek two piece mini duo for 15 dollars with a lip balm and a liquid blush and also the mini lip souffle matte lip cream duo for $15 with two matte lip creams available October 16th in stores. All right, so I do have a video reviewing a bunch of the products that I tried out from Rare Beauty. I can link that one up in the cards if you'd be interested in it. So I, I don't think that any of the sets are really gonna work out for me because nothing really kind of like made me lose my mind when it came to, I, I just, the formula for the lip souffles are just not my favorite. And then the blush and the highlights just aren't my personal style and what I keep reaching for. So I don't think the sets are going to be a good fit for me. For the eyeshadow palettes, again, they just really didn't make me do a double take. Um, they all look to be very shimmery shades. And I, you know, I'm someone who prefers more of a matte. I don't need an all matte palette, but I would take an all matte palette. Um, but I, again, that's just my personal preference and that's what I enjoy. So the one that has the pinks and the purples in there, it looks pretty, but then there's kind of like this orangey one that I'm not so sure about and then a darker shade and 
yeah, just not really for me. There's definitely been a lot of eyeshadow palettes coming out, so I think I'm going to skip those from Rare Beauty. I do see some more holiday from uh, Makeup Revolution. I think I've talked about some holiday from them so far, but they definitely always have a lot going on. Um, so their holiday collection, the Precious Glamour Collection by Makeup Revolution. We have some lip glosses for $9. There's eyeshadow palettes for $16. Mini palettes for $12. We have some lipsticks for $10. A Crystal Ball Loose Body Shimmer 15 and the Butterfly Lash Mascara for $12. Packaging looks cute on everything, but nothing that really turned my attention made me feel like I absolutely had to have it, but that's the holiday collection from Makeup Revolution. I see some new releases from Huda Beauty. So we have new complexion products, the Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation Stick for $39. Okay, I didn't try the the regular foundation that she came out with. A lot of people were saying that it was just very full coverage and a, a really matte foundation, which isn't a personal preference of mine. If you would like to see if you've missed it, I did do a foundation declutter recently, so I can put that one up in the cards too, and that you'd probably get a pretty good idea of what my kind of like sweet spot is for my foundations once you did check out that declutter. Um, I also just, I really don't prefer foundation sticks. I've tried some in the past. They just really tend to not be a favorite of mine. So I don't know if this would be one that I would want to try. Uh, it's supposed to be a light buildable coverage and a natural finish, which that sounds like something that I would enjoy. I really do prefer a natural finish foundation, but I'm just not sure. I, I just, I'm just not sure. I have a feeling that we maybe want to get on the best. And then she's also coming out with the Water Jelly Hydrating Primer for $33. This is an ultra hydrating primer to smooth and quench skin with a surge of moisture to create the perfect canvas that's ready to grip makeup in place for long lasting of flawless wear. Again, it's, primers aren't something I usually lose my mind over and I have quite a few and I, I feel like I'm pretty good there. I feel like I really need to do a primer declutter. Is that like a fun thing to watch? like not so much. And then also the Build and Buff foundation brush for $33. This is all gonna be available October 21st on the website. So probably not gonna not gonna be for me, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And then this is from the Wishful skincare brand, which is Huda Beauty's skincare line. So we have some tools. We have the Clean Genie Cleansing Wand for seventeen dollars. It's a dual ended silicone brush and spatula. Spatula. I guess I that funny. Specifically designed for the most effective first cleanse in your double cleanse routine, the flexible bristles bristles will help remove makeup. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, um, I feel like this is not something that I feel like I have been missing for myself. I guess I'll put it that way. Uh, kind of interesting to have the spatula side on one end because sometimes with certain masks and such, I do like to use a brush, a tool, a spatula versus my fingers. But the other side, I mean, definitely that first photo, I kind of thought it looked like a toothbrush and I was a little bit curious about it. But um, again, I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel like something that I feel like I'm personally missing. So I don't feel like I have to have it. And then there's also the four pack microfiber cleansing cloths for $15 to help remove surface de surface dead skin cells. A soft textured material contains more than 200,000 fibers per inch of fabric and can absorb more than seven times their weight in water, making them much more effective. I think this is great as something versus a, a makeup wipe. I wouldn't recommend those. I feel like the cloths are a better way to go. So I like to see that from the brand. I do have some makeup erasers that I've gotten recently that I feel like I'm pretty good with, but would love to hear your thoughts on these releases also. I see that there is a new shade coming out in one of my favorite lipstick formulas and it's also a shade that I wear frequently so this is good this is from Maybelline this is the Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in Thrill Seeker which is a black lipstick this one is limited edition and it is seven dollars and 98 cents which is great okay I am just kidding um I don't wear black lipstick often I feel like the oh, man People who can pull it off, they just look so bossy and in charge and confident and freaking amazing. But there's been a couple times that I've tried a really dark lipstick, whether it be like black or darker blue, and I just don't feel like I have the confidence to pull that off. It's just, it's not really for me, but I think it's great to have the options. But also the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick Formula is one of my least favorite lipstick formulas I have ever tried. 
ever tried and it is so funny because i feel like this is a lip formula that so many people love and i can't figure it out i was even i was watching the tiki talk the other day and a person was saying how she has found the greatest lipsticks ever in life and it was the maybelline superstay matte ink and the comments were like girl this is my favorite i love this how do how, everyone has to try this and i was like what and there was one video where I did on TikTok where I, was, I, where I say like yes or no, I'll go to a store and I'll show different releases and I'll say like yes, would I recommend this or no, would I not recommend this? And I said no to the Maybelline and I had multiple comments from like, wait, what's wrong with the Maybelline lipstick? I'm like, how are y'all finding this comfortable? That was the most uncomfortable lipstick I have ever worn ever. And I do understand that it's very long wearing because it literally doesn't leave your lips. I have to like be scrubbing at my lips to get that stuff off, but also it's so dry, it's so uncomfortable, it's so crack like I don't understand how people enjoy that because I do enjoy liquid lipsticks but there's so many great formulas that will still stay on you but they're not going to be so uncomfortable uh, I actually did uh, I did makeup over this past weekend for a bridal party which was very terrifying for me because I think a lot of people think because of what I do that I'm like some form of a makeup artist but I'm not I'm not at all. I don't do makeup on other people. So I was very scared and I was also very upfront about that. But it was a friend of mine, the team that she had hired did, you know, have to cancel because of COVID. I used Story from my collection on Oprah Cosmetics. I gifted the collection to the bridesmaids that I did as like a, please, please don't hate my makeup uh, skills too much. Here's, here's free makeup for you. But they were all really sweet. Everyone said that they liked their makeup. But I used Story on them and it was so funny because one of the sisters of the bride came up to me during the reception and was like, that lipstick you used on me is amazing. I've eaten. It's not coming off. I've like, what is like, this is amazing. And I was like, I'm so excited. So yes, I, I just, what? What Kim She Chic Beauty has new blushes coming out. So we've seen uh, highlighters coming out in these heart compacts in the Thaler collection, but now we also have the blushes, and these are going to be $15 each. I don't feel like I need these, but I do think that they look really cute. They kind of remind me of candy. Just a little bit of candy. And I have eaten like 47 Kit Kats today, but they've been mini Kit Kats. So I've been convincing myself that it's really like I'm just eating one Kit Kat. Just like a larger Kit Kat. I should probably stop eating the Kit Kats, but I can't. Okay, so I got a couple tags on this one. And I got some tags on Twitter too. And this is from Lavender Boutique, I think is how you pronounce the name. I will have them linked down below. This is a new product from them, the Cloud Magic Colorful Liquid Liner plus lash glue. There's five different colors of this. Will be available October 19th on the website. And this is supposed to be a liner slash lash glue. So I have tried a product like this from Lily Lashes. It's their like power liner. So it's supposed to be like a black liquid liner, but it's a lash adhesive at the same time. So you're supposed to be able to do your wing and then go ahead and pop your lash on and it's supposed to stay. I tried it on my hand first just because I was like curious about it like does it really stay and it did seem to stick on my hand which was good the problem is when I then go to do this for my eyes I'm not necessarily like super quick at doing winged liner like I think it's good for people who are maybe a little bit more skilled at doing their because it takes me a while and so by the time that I'm done then the stickiness part seems to have already dried so by the time I actually get there to put my lash on and then also to put like you already have to have your lash prepped you have to have it trimmed if you need to trim your lashes like you need to have it if you if you need to like you know mess with the band at all like you have to have that already done you have to have your lash like sitting next to you like you it to me it seemed like it dried really quickly versus me putting a lash adhesive on the band and then waiting a few seconds for it to become tacky so I could put it on. So when I have tried it actually on my eyes, I would not feel confident to go out in that. Like maybe it would work well enough for me if I'm just, if I'm going to be sitting and filming in my house or something like that. But I wouldn't feel confident to go out like a strong wind would blow the lash away. So um, that would be a no. So I just, I I didn't really like that one. I know people have told me that the Kiss one is supposed to be really good too. But to be honest, I don't do winged liner often, even when I do lashes. 
sometimes I, I just skip the winged lines. But of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts or if you have tips or you know application advice. I'm always open to hear that. P. Louise is coming out with some new eye bases for the Halloween season. So we have three new ones, um, more in like a darker green, a red, and then also a gray. These are going to be available October 12th. Uh, I just don't really use these types of products myself, so I don't think that I would need to pick them up. One that just got announced. Let's see. This is from KKW Beauty. Oh, I would not have guessed. Interesting. It says, happy birthday. Kim Kardashian is celebrating her 40th birthday with a new collection inspired by her birthstone, the Opal. It includes the Opalescent Pressed Powder Palette for $45. The Semi, Semi Matte, Semi Matte. I mean, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's just spelled differently. Liquid lipstick, $22 or the bundle for $166. This is a new formula. Okay. Uh, available in eight shades. There's some birthstone glosses for $20. There is the lip liner for $12. A lip duo for $32. The full collection for $250. Available October 21st at 1046 AM PST. That must be the time she was born. That's pretty funny. Um, okay. So I will say, like, this is probably one of the most colorful palettes we've seen Kim Kardashian coming out with. Um, normally that is not really, normally it's just very neutral, which I, I like neutrals, so I'm not hating on that. But everything that she's come out with, a lot of the products have seemed really similar to one another. So it's kind of fun to see something a little bit different. Uh, I don't think, you know, saying that, I don't feel like this is one that's really kind of catching my eye once again. And there's a lot of palettes that are. There's some holiday releases that are exciting. So I don't feel like I have to grab anything from here, but... You know, that's fun to see. And from Linda Hallberg, she is coming out with new interstellar, um, like, liquid shadows, I believe these are. So we have the Supernova, which is a blue glitter, and a multi-chrome, which is a waterproof, three-dimensional chromatic formula, available October 23rd. Uh, I believe these are going to be $32. I'm looking in the comments. Looks like $32. Uh, not products that I wear a ton myself, but both of them look really cool. The, that multi-chrome looks I mean, super thing cool. That I wanted to mention for kind of like a makeup sale is for refer brushes. They are having some uh, sales and also their holiday collection is coming up. So I wanted to take a moment to touch on that also. So the core set, their core collection is going to be getting their biggest discount ever. I was kind of surprised when I heard this news because it's a it's a pretty good deal. The core collection, which is regularly regularly $168, will be eligible for an $80 discount if you use the code Concept Store when you check out. That's not an affiliate code. That's just a code for everybody. Um, but it is 48% off of the collection, which is kind of wild. Also, with that code, you will get free shipping, which is fantastic because I don't think they've I don't think they've ever offered free ship. Thing. Um, but so that's exciting if you use concept store and I will have this all linked down below and then also there's going to be 20% off of each individual brush so if you do the core collection which is five different brushes um, and I have a couple of them here because I was using them today so it's brushes one through five that you would get in the core collection um, so that's what you can get as a discount to get that bundle but then you can also purchase any of their other individual brushes for 20% off and I believe that's just everything is 20% off off. there's no like additional codes or anything like that I do have in a link with a link with them the the link is an affiliate link so the code concept store is not but if you do use my link in the description box that one is an affiliate link if you do use it of course I would greatly appreciate it because you know that's always amazing and the holiday collection is going to be coming on October 20th and the holiday set is going to be 40% off it's going to include three of their newest brushes, the 23, the 24, and the 25. I love the 23. I believe I used that one in a, like, get ready with me video recently on YouTube. The 23 is a good one. It's also the day of my birthday. It's one of my favorite numbers. So I got really excited when I enjoyed that one. So the holiday set is going to be valued at 216, but will be d discounted discounted to 130 for a limited time and that's 40% off so that will be kicking off October 20th and then the sale and the code I believe is going to be until October 31st so again I will have all that linked down below and thank you to refer for sending me over that information and also affiliate code with them that's really cool they just uh, launched an affiliate program and 
that was really awesome to be uh, invited into it. I would love to know if you guys have tried rougher brushes and if you have any favorites from them. Right, so actually Herbivore is coming out with another new product. This is their Coconut Milk Body Scrub, a 100% natural body scrub that gently exfoliates and moisturizes skin with coconut milk, virgin coconut oil, and sugar for $36. Honestly, it sounds kind of nice. I do I do enjoy good good body polish. I probably don't need it. I know that I have some other ones, like I have some backups of, of body scrubs and um, like body washes, so I, I don't need a new one, but that, I'm not gonna lie to you, like that sounds kind of nice. And then also from uh, Glossier, they are coming out with a new shade in their Balm.com, which I really do like, and this is their Wild Fig. It says sweet and fruity with a deep coral tint. This one is gonna be limited edition, and these are $12. So I really do like just the coconut balm.com from Glossier. I think it's a really nice lip balm. I actually have it currently in my purse. I've actually hooked a lot of my friends on that one because I, I would carry it around so much and if people needed a lip balm, I was like, hey, here you go. Do you think I'll share my lip balm anymore in the future with COVID? Hmm. But a lot of them like it too, so it's fun to see a new shade. Kind of a bummer that it's limited edition, but I think it's a good formula. Okay, and then I just see some new skincare to finish it off with. So from Monday Born Beauty, we have The Source, which is a reparative hydrating essence for $42. Uh, let's see, this is supposed to calm and repair skin's barrier function while deeply hydrating and moisturizing the skin. Okay, made with only 26 ingredients suitable for all skin types. Free of alcohol, essential oil, derivative of coconut, dye, fragrance, gluten, paraben, PEG, phthalate, silicone, soy, and sulfate. That sounds real nice. Monday Born Beauty is a newer brand started by Tenny Panosian. Um, I think her name was, and she's super beautiful and she always has fantastic looking skin. I don't know, this one kind of like turned my head a little bit. I mean, I feel like I don't need any more skincare products. I will also share this story that I was doing makeup on one of the bridesmaids and I told her that I thought that she had lovely skin. And she told me that as a moisturizer, she uses hand lotion. She was like, it's really easy. I just put my hand lotion on and I just put it on my face. And she had great skin. The world is not fair. And then lastly, I just see some products that are uh, available now from Nude Skin. So I've talked about how um, they are, Nude Sticks is coming out with their own skincare line. So we have Nude Skin, this is available at Ulta Beauty. The first launch includes a Lemonade Detox and Glow Micro Peel for $34, and that's gonna be coming into the Trend Mood box. That sounds a little scary to me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, something about lemon just kind of freaks me out. Um, it's a chemical peel that you can do at home. Oh, that one kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, we also have the Citrus Sea Mask and Daily Moisturizer for $38. There's the Gentle Hydra Face Gel Cleanser for $18. Uh, the 5% Citrus Fruit and Glycolic Glow Toner for $28. The Citrus Clean Balm and Makeup Melt for $34, which is their makeup remover. Okay, so they're coming out with quite a few products to launch off for the first time. I'd love to know if you guys are interested in this one. Do you think this would be something that you would purchase? But these are going to be available now now at Ulta Beauty, so I will have that linked down below. Other than that, that is everything for this week's Will I Buy It video. Let me know what you thought of all the products that I mentioned. What are you most interested in? What are you not interested in at all? I always love to get your feedback. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.